All living things need four things in order to survive. Food, water, shelter, and space. In a survival situation, the most important of these is shelter. It's fun to make forts in the woods, but we're gonna teach you how to make a structure that may one day save your life. Step one, the area. When selecting a site, you wanna look for an area that has a lot of leaves, already down trees, a place that won't collect water, and a place that's out of the wind. Step two, the foundation. Knowing that hot air rises and cool air sinks, your foundation shouldn't be any higher than the top of your knee. Your ridge pole should be as long as your arm outstretched plus two or more feet. Your ridge pole should be strong enough that if you stand on it, it won't break. Put one end of the ridge pole in the V of a tree or on a short stump and then mark where the feet of the person's gonna be at that's in the shelter. Put a thick log where your feet are gonna be and then add a very heavy log so that you stabilize the ridge pole. Step three, the floor. One of the most important aspects of making a survival shelter is having a barrier between you and the ground. If you've ever sat on cold bleachers, you know how it can pull heat away from your body. You wanna cover the floor of your survival shelter with a foot of leaves or pine needles. Step four, the shell. When building the shell or the outside of your survival shelter, you wanna start with your shortest sticks on the bottom. You wanna have them butt up against that log that you use for your feet, and you wanna crisscross them at a 45 degree angle, interlocking them so they won't slide. We're gonna to need to find a way to get inside, so we're going to leave a gap. Knowing that hot air rises, cool air sinks, we're gonna leave this space open at the bottom of the shelter, facing downhill. The gap needs to be wide enough that you can crawl in. your shorter sticks to fill in your gaps. Step five, the insulation. We already talked about the insulating properties of leaves. You want to cover your shelter up to three feet with leaves or up to your armpit. Make sure you find something that acts as a door. Well, it's all put together. The only thing left to do is get inside. If I did this right, I should see no daylight. Any place light comes in is a place where water can get in or hot air can get out. I think I have to go to the bathroom.